What is going on guys? My name is Kenji and welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be going into detail about my morning routine to start my day off on the best way that I possibly can and hopefully making a few recommendations as to how you can do the same. My mornings always start off exactly eight hours after I went to bed and is usually around 7.30 a.m. and begins my first alarm going off. When my first alarm rings, I force myself out of bed and across my room to turn off my alarm which is situated on my desk. I always set two alarms which are each five minutes apart to give myself time to wake up and mentally prepare myself for the day ahead. The strategies that I use to prevent myself going back to sleep for longer than five minutes when I definitely shouldn't is number one, putting my alarm across the room from me. Number two, opening up the curtains so that the light starts my brain's process of waking up. And finally, to turn on my heater briefly so that my room is nice and warm and therefore I'm not tempted to return to the comfort of my warm bed. When my second alarm rings five minutes later, I then make my bed and cross over to the other side of my room and grab my towel on the way to the bathroom. My bathroom is a short walk across the flat and the first thing I do once I enter is, you know what, followed by washing my face using my Cetaphil cleansing lotion as well as wetting my hair to untangle the dreadlocks that have been developing overnight. Cetaphil is a product I've been using over the last seven years to wash my face and other sensitive parts of my body, if you know what I'm saying, and this as well as using a paper towel instead to dry my face has been an effective way of preventing acne. I then towel dry my hair so that it remains slightly damp and use my masculine pink curl cream to style my hair to perfection. Once I'm somewhat presentable, I then head to the kitchen to prepare my much needed coffee and also breakfast. I now use a cafetiere with ground coffee to make my coffee upon realizing after many years that instant coffee is absolutely inedible. I'm personally not much of a breakfast person, so nine times out of 10, my breakfast usually consists of fruit and nut cereal, which I've been having every morning for the last decade, where I put the milk in the bowl first and into the microwave for about one minute, of course. Once I'm back in my bedroom, I then look at my phone for the first time since turning off my alarm this morning and reply to any important messages or emergencies. The reason why I don't use my phone up until now is because I don't want to start my day off with problems for which I'm obligated to find solutions. Perhaps we might check the news and subconsciously begin our day with the demands of the outside world, which then attaches itself to our barely conscious minds. By going onto social media, we might begin our psychological state of the day by comparing ourselves to others. For example, running across a photo of someone we know buying a new car that we just can't quite afford yet, or allowing our barely conscious minds to be bathed in the problems of work that may have been communicated to us via our email inbox. These first few minutes of the day is the point at which we are most unconscious and therefore most influenceable. And what's difficult is that our neurons, still barely firing and in a semi-sleep state, have had insufficient time to prepare the necessary distance from this constant external feed. This is why I give myself time in the morning to wake up with my own hopefully positive thoughts and build up that conscious defense to the demands of the world. Eating breakfast is often a time where I get to catch up on any videos or courses that I'm currently watching and on this occasion I decided to watch one of the classes on Skillshare who are also kindly sponsoring the video. If you guys haven't heard it yet, Skillshare is an online learning community and platform for learning new skills. They have thousands of courses for creative people on topics including photography, videography, design, illustration and lots more. I've actually been using Skillshare for a few months now and I've really improved my studying skills, cinematography and also editing skills to make these videos for you guys through Skillshare. Instead of watching YouTube like I normally used to, I now hop onto Skillshare where I can start off my morning learning a new skill whilst eating breakfast. One class I've watched recently that I really liked is YouTube Success, Script, Shoot and Edit by MKBHD, which showed me how to improve the process of making these videos for you guys. I love Skillshare so much that I've actually created my own class on there, which you can access for free with a trial down below. My class on there, which is all about how to write a first class essay. So if you're in university and want to learn more about how to score those top marks in your essay, then I highly recommend you check out my class on Skillshare. If you want to check out Skillshare for yourself, then the first 1,000 people who click on the link down below will get a free trial to Skillshare. And my recommendation will be to at least sign up the trial and watch both these courses for free. And if you decide that Skillshare adds enough value to your life, as it definitely has done for me, then joining is only less than $10 a month on the yearly subscription, which for me is absolutely worth it. After finishing my breakfast, and the last thing I do before heading to placement is call my girlfriend to chat about our plans for the day, what we hope to achieve, and finally to wish her a beautiful start to her day. I usually then finish up getting ready, which involves putting my clothes on that I conveniently chose the night before to save time, as well as putting my hospital ID on, my jacket and shoes, and finally picking up my backpack, which again I packed the night before. My car is parked only a short walk away, where I face a 35 minute drive to the hospital for a day jam packed with teaching sessions, taking patient histories, and ultimately learning how to be a doctor, which is only a year away from now. Yikes. I now want to thank you guys so much for joining me on my morning routine getting ready for medical school and if you like the video please do drop a like
like and make sure you're subscribed with notifications on to make sure you don't miss a video when I next upload it. And if you like this video, here are some more that you might enjoy too. Take care and I'll see you guys on the next one.